What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to do a stock setting versus undervolt. And I've just ran some benchmarks on um, Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, and Red Dead Redemption 2. And you're going to see all of them. And honestly, I was quite surprised from what I could tell. In some cases, the stock one, in some cases, the undervolt one was really within margin of error. But over the line, as you can already see over here, the underfolded system, which was much more um, cool CPU wise. Now, I've made a video, I'll put it at the top of over here. And you can see that I've made a video about undervolting if you have an MSI laptop, it's very easy to undervolt. The XTU, the Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility does not work. It's grayed out, so you can uh, you can check it out if you wish to undervolt your laptop. Like for this example, look at the difference in FPS. It's exactly the same scenario, and the undervolt is like a good three degrees ahead but look at the temperature that is quite quite a lot you can see that it like it takes way less um, or it takes way more time to get warm and it cools down really quickly and like this scenario you can see it's very tight but the stock seems to win but just a little it's all within margin of error. It's very situational, I don't know. But I kind of like the temperatures on the stock or on the uh, undervolt because, I mean, it's sometimes like a good three to five degrees cooler. And that can mean your fence like spinning up like crazy or not. I'm also going to make a video about the cooler boost option for um, MSI. You have the cooler boost 5. I want to see if that increases the performance or if it does anything, how it sustains over long periods of time. It's not very pleasant to uh, sit next to, but I'm just wondering. Now, if you like it thus far, please hit that like and subscribe button. That helps me out as well. Now over here, Arthur takes his time and he's gonna get a little desynchronized, but it'll have to do. I'm not gonna cut like ha halfway the video. Over here also, it's like one is jumping into the 80s and one is still around 70. That's crazy. It's still good temperatures for a CPU on a laptop, honestly, with a demanding game like this. But look at the FPS. They're, they're like similar. Sometimes the stock wins, sometimes the undervolt wins. It's within margin of error. That's why I put it average. And average is, well, pretty average. <laughs> it's pretty much the same. So for my testing, I can pretty much conclude that the undervolting does really work. Does a good job, keeps your CPU much cooler. And well, if you do it right, at pretty much no expense on the performance. So people are some people are saying that it actually increases the performance. Uh, that's not really a thing I've noticed that it increases the performance. Maybe a little, but it's all for me with the margin of error. So. But you can see over here, Arthur is near the end of the benchmark. And you can see like the scores and the undervolt actually scored a little bit better, I think. But we'll have to see, I cannot really recall. I just made this because I was curious and I'm just gonna post it. So let's see what the results were. Max FPS, average FPS, <laughs> the undervolt one, 
How about that? Well, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like. Peace.